After only five months of marriage, Mac's wife, Tara, disappeared without a trace. Her family filed a missing persons report and organized a search to look for her. And after 28 days, that search came to a tragic end after a fisherman found Tara's body lifeless in a creek. Her family says the police are still investigating her death and have named Mac a person of interest. Take a look. My daughter disappeared January 31st on my birthday. My sister was at my house, left that morning, and said she'd be back. When we didn't hear from Tara, we knew that there was something wrong. The family members started trying to call her on her cell phone, uh, and nobody could reach her. Then about 11 o'clock that night, we got a phone call from her. He dropped her off at the truck stop on the AA highway. We searched for Tara every day. We knew we weren't looking for Tara. We were looking for her body. We knew without a doubt that Tara was either, either being held against her will or she was dead. And if she was dead, we were looking for the body. Tara's husband, Mac, is one of the suspects in it. Personally, I don't believe Mac has got anything to do with it. But my daughters, my wife, they all say, yeah, he's still a suspect. Tara and Mac met, fell in love very, very fast. They had a rocky start. Mac, from the very beginning, kind of gave everyone that kind of like that, like, uh-oh feeling. Mac made this list for Tara right after they were married about things that he did not like about her. Things like she spent too much time with her family. And when he tried to isolate Tara, it pushed Tara away. When Tara left Mac, Tara had mentioned several times that she thought she saw Mac sitting in his car down the street from my house or a friend's house. He would show up in random places um, after she would be there, you know, our local grocery store or um, even, you know, another county away. Tara definitely felt like Mac was following her at, at different points, um, or, you know, almost at a stalking um, point. Well, after uh, 28 days of searching, we, we found her body on the 28th day of February. When we were searching for Tara, it was, it was pretty devastating for everyone, everyone involved. When Matt come to us, he, he seemed sincere. I mean, he, he definitely showed uh, some, some emotion, but it wasn't to the point of losing your significant other. At the end of the road where, you know, where her body was found, you know, it's, it's actually on Mac's road at the opposite end of where Mac lives. Mac has definitely been sketchy and stalling from the beginning. I mean, I even contacted the show back in September trying to get a polygraph test done then and had it all set up, ready to go, and Max skipped state. He moved to Florida on the day before we were supposed to be leaving to come on the show. Um, how did you find out that your sister was missing? My sister, Tara, was at my house that morning at 10.50. Um, she left, you know, hey, I'll see you later. I'll catch, I'll catch up with you when you come back into town. And um, two hours later, I tried calling her, texting her, hey, where you at? You on your way? Nothing. Um, so I get a hold of some other family members. And I'm like, okay, so what's going on? Have we heard, you know, do we know anything? You know, have you seen her? Have you heard from her? Nothing. According to the state police, they have informed us that the cause of death is undetermined. And after reviewing the autopsy, it that's exactly what it says. It says undetermined and apparent um, with drowning. And I actually went to the coroner and asked the coroner, what does that mean? You know, what, what does apparent drowning mean? I mean, I understand she's found in water, but she didn't go swimming in January. Um, Mac made a, a statement on tape, and we're going to roll that now. I was not involved in her disappearance. I hadn't seen Tara for about 25 days before she disappeared. We were having some problems. We loved one another and we were trying to uh, work things out. We had big plans and then all of a sudden she, she was killed. I think she wanted a break. I think she wanted a break. Uh, we got married uh, really quick. I guess it was Sunday. I text her and she didn't call me back. I mean, she, she was very into the family, her family. So when she didn't show up for uh, the birthday party, I guess, uh, the next day Dan and Daniel came over to my house, asked me if I'd have seen her, and I said, you know, I hadn't. I was hoping, and, and I thought, that she probably, um, it was somewhere, 
and was going to come back. It took about two or three or four days for me to really start worrying about what happened to her. So we started organizing a search party and then the whole community helped. There had to be at least uh, 150 people and uh, we started in a three mile circle around a, a cell phone tower. Searched and searched and searched for about a month. We were closing in on her. I mean, we, were, we could have found her that day, I suppose. That's some kids found her. I thought that uh, I was gonna have to search forever for her. And then, and then, you know, she was found. I think her family knows I'm innocent. I mean, I, I, I helped them search. I've, I've seen them every day for six months. I mean, I'm, I don't think the police think I'm a suspect. Uh, there was a person, the last person that saw her. I would like for him to take a lie detector test too. I took this polygraph test to eliminate myself as a suspect. I hope that the lie detector test will solve all this. Do you believe Mac had anything to do with the disappearance and the, the murder of your daughter? I don't believe he had anything to do with her murder. You know, I believe he pushed her away from from himself. Your uh, your son Daniel's here. Let's bring him up. Again, um, I know this is very emotional. I see it in all your faces. What do you believe happened to your sister? Um, do I think Mac done it? No. Do I think Max capable of doing it? Yes. Your wife couldn't be here today, but she did leave a voice phone. We're going to play that now. I'm calling to let you know I'd really like to be out there for the show and be with my family, but I can't be there. I just want you to know, as far as Max goes, I don't know if he had anything to do with my daughter's murder or not, but I'd really like to find out. A lie detector test would kind of ease my mind. Mac agreed to come here, and he did take a lie detector test. And we asked him, regarding Tara's death, <clears throat> did you cause it? He answered, no. The results for his lie detector test is that Mac did not tell the truth. Um, Good thing you made him leave. <laughs> and and that's and that's why we did that, and that's why we don't have him on stage because this is too I serious. Can't believe that. That but I do want Daniel. I do want you to know. Daniel. <laughs> we we notified the police of the results of the test already. We notified the police from your area. We told them that we'll cooperate. It, it just couldn't be like maybe he's feeling guilty no, for that, it. No, that doesn't mean that. <gasps> Regarding Tara's death, did you cause it? Did you cause her death? And he failed for that question. Oh my God. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm just too many, too many stories that that hold. I'm shocked. Now, it's not to say that that wasn't who she was hooking up with, but I'm shocked. Dan, who administers our lie detector test, he, uh, some, uh, one of the notes concerning Mac's test, he wrote, in my professional opinion, the subject was deceptive and leaked signs of deception, as well as failing the polygraph question of causing Tara's death. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid. <laughs> Let the police do their work. And hopefully it's been put a year and a half. Well, maybe this does help. Okay? He wouldn't take one for the police. Why would he agree to take one if he, if he... Well, because like your brother and like you said, he's a weirdo. Maybe he thinks, you know, maybe he could he beat, he it. beat it. Right. Maybe he thought if enough time went by and he took one, <laughs> that he could beat it. I don't know what is in the mind of a killer, but because of this test, I do believe that Mac caused the death of your sister.